Just over four weeks ago, America had no real plan to vaccinate most of the country. My predecessor, as my mother would say, God love him, failed to order enough vaccines, failed to mobilize the effort to administer the shots, failed to set up vaccine centers. That changed the moment we took office. I directed Jeff Science, my COVID-19 response coordinator, to lead my administration's work with the vaccine manufacturers to buy more vaccines and to speed up delivery. Albert referenced it earlier, and I want to thank him for making it happen because we work together. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for all Americans by the end of July. It doesn't mean it'll be in all Americans' arms, but enough vaccine will be available by that time. These orders allow facilities like this one to plan ahead, accelerate their production schedules. Here's what else we did. When we discovered that vaccine manufacturers weren't being prioritized when it came to scrutinizing and securing supplies they needed, we fixed that problem and got them what they needed. We also used the Defense Production Act to speed up the supply chain for, quick, for key equipment, like fill pumps and filters, which has already helped increase vaccine production. In fact, on our tier, on our tour today, they showed me a critical piece of machinery they didn't have before. Now they do, and it's allowing them to ramp up production. And as we increase supply, we're carrying out a clear plan to get shots into the arms of 300 million Americans or more. And I know people want confidence that it's safe. Well, I just toured, and it's where it's being made. It takes more time to do the check for safety than it does actually to make the vaccine. That's how fastidious they are. And listen to Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci assured me that COVID-19 vaccines were safe. That's why several weeks ago I went through the rigorous scientific review. That's why I took my vaccine shot publicly to demonstrate to the American people that I know and believe it's safe. That's why Vice President Harris also received a shot publicly. We all know there's some history and there's some hesitancy about taking this vaccine. We all know there's a history in this country of having subjected certain communities to terrible medical abuses in the past. But if there's one message to cut through to everyone in this country, it's this. The vaccines are safe. Please, for yourself, your family, your community, this country, take the vaccine when it's your turn and available.